When I gave my TCS interview for Digital Profile back in 2022, it was nearly of 57 minutes. Can you imagine 57 minutes interview for Fresher? I was completely blown away. But you know one thing, there was exactly one question that I was unable to answer. I did my best and I got selected as a TCS Digital candidate. And it's been nearly 2 years I've been working with TCS Digital Profile. Today in this video I'm going to tell you what are the must do interview question for TCS especially for TCS Ninja and TCS Digital. So I hope this video will make a little bit sense before we appear for TCS interview. Before we begin just in case if you are new to the Runtime Mirror do hit the subscribe button so that you can get such more informative videos. Now without any further delay let's crack the interview. So let's see the important TCS NQT interview questions. So the first one is explain your project. See, normally what happen? Everyone in their final year or in third year they do their projects, right? But the point is, whenever they have asked about the project, most of the students feel confused what to tell. They tell everything about their projects. That is the reason why they end up getting every corner questions from related to their project. So how to tell you about your projects? There are some points that you need to tell about this project whenever. your interviewer ask you what project you have done so the first thing you tell why you selected this project what was the reason behind selecting this topic second what problem you solved using that your project right because there might be some problem and that is the reason why you selected this project in order to solve that problem so tell the problem which you have solving using the project number 3 which technology you are using and the last and really important what was your role the reason why i say your role is really important because when you tell your role they will ask the question only related to to your role but if you don't mention your role they will ask question from all whole project we don't want this we need to control our own interview so these are the four points you need to tell whenever they ask you about the your projects so let's see the next question explain the pillars of oops concept So normally what happen is everyone explain the oops concept right they tell everything abstraction inheritance polymorphism data hiding and all the stuff but the point is most of the students forget to give the real life example because normally what happen is when you relate the oops concept with the real life example it feels like you are technically stronger so before we you, you explain any oops concept try to relate it with your real life example so this is a good practice so this was all about the pillars of oops second database so database is a huge subject and most important is there are many questions are being asked from this subject because it is a kind of a theory you know except sql if you leave the sql all are related to the theory so it, there are lots of chances getting questions on this subject so you will be getting questions like difference between database and dbms what are the different types of database management system and difference between sql and no sql then what are the difference between keys like difference between foreign key and primary key primary key and the unique key what do you mean by candidate key so they will be asked all the questions related to the keys and the one thing is about normalization as we know that we have 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf to so make sure you are prepared with these topics really well and the one thing i would like to tell you that there might be a possibilities depending upon who is taking your interview that he might ask you to write some sql queries so make sure that you make your hand dirty practicing the sql queries before appearing to your interview so this was related to the database that these are the must do topics before you appear for tcs interview the next one is operating system so normally what happen is operating system is bit kind of again a theory just like a database so there might ask you questions like what do you mean by operating system then they will ask what are the types of operating system so this is really important that is types of operating system because most of the people are not able to tell more than 3 to 4 types of operating system so you have to prepare well at least 5 different types of operating system and the one is what is the difference between the process and the program these are the most common questions and the most important is frequently asked questions so you have to be thoroughly prepared with this so we got a data structures tell me the interview where data structure is not at all asked you will find every company asking the questions related to the data structures so you can prepare applications of each data structures people prepare different data structures linked list stack queues tree graph but hold on do you know application of each and every single data structures do you know where the linked list is used in real life do you know where the graph is used in real life really no there will be hardly two people you will be telling this answer so make sure every single data structures has its own application and you know that applications second important question what do you mean by data structures and why do we need a data structure this is also really important so let's move ahead 
what is the difference between linked list and array this is commonly asked question when it comes to the data structures right so make sure you know the difference between these two things second the pointers pointers again important things there are four different types of pointers as well wild pointer dangling pointer again we have null pointers and one more pointer we have right so prepare these pointers really well now we will check out some of the hr questions that is high probability of getting asked and it mainly decides whether to select you in the interview or not because hr questions mainly tells your behavioral and managerial skill and you have to be really good at with it because tcs is a service sector companies here manners and etiquettes are really important since you are dealing with the clients so there will be questions like why should we hire you now before we press proceed let me tell you that i have already made the video of hr and i have explained everything in detail how should your answer look like so just in case if you haven't watched this playlist i will give the link of that playlist in the description box i re highly recommend you to watch that playlist it will 100% it will help you to prepare for your hr questions really well it's my guarantee it's my guarantee so why should we hire you you have to be prepared with you don't tell that it's my dream company and all the stuff no tell them the requirement of your company and my skills matches and that is the reason why i want to join tcs to showcase my skills and help the company's growth i have told you short answers if you want in detail the answers i have already told in the playlist which i have given the link in the description box let's check the next questions what are your salary expectation so again this is the most common questions and people always say i want 5 lakhs 6 lakhs no hold on company will not give you you are a pressure you have to handle this question really well tell them that according to the contribution and the skills you should get paid don't just say i'm ready to work on any salary company is trying to pay me no and what if they say we are not ready to pay you salary are you going to work for us answer this question smartly because this is a kind of a bit tricky questions which showcase your behavior towards the money and the work where do you see yourself in next question see whenever you read this question people think that where i can put myself in 5 years no this is not the actual meaning of the question the actual meaning of the question is how much loyal you are loyal to the company how long you are going to work in the company that is the reason why they are asking about 5 years are you going to stay in the company for the next 5 to 10 years that's what they want to see and if you want to know the detail answer of this questions and the meaning i have already made one video you can watch that it so this was all about the important questions and the must do prepare questions for tcs nqd exam I hope so at least you got 50 to 60% of a central idea about it so if this video has really helped you i highly recommend you to subscribe the runtime error to get such more informative videos and help you out to crack any of your favorite companies interview so just in case if you haven't followed me on linkedin do follow me on linkedin the link of the my profile is given on the description box till then have a happy coding